Good morning. I am Vedaraj, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science Engineering, RMD Engineering College. Today's class, we are going to discuss object-oriented methodologies. Before we are discussing various object-oriented methodologies, first, what do you mean by object modeling technique? What do you mean by object modeling technique? Object modeling technique is a methodology of object-oriented analysis, design and implementation that focuses on create, creating a model of object from real world and then to use this model to develop the object-oriented software. Object modeling technique is one of the object-oriented methodology, Bush methodology, Jacobson methodology. These three are various object-oriented methodologies. Now we are going to discuss only object modeling technique. This object modeling technique was developed by James Rambo. Nowadays, OMT is one of the most popular object-oriented development technique. It is primarily used by system and software developer to support full life cycle development while targeting object-oriented implementation. This Rambo OMT model describes the method for analysis, design and implementation using object-oriented technique. OMT model consists of four phases. The first phase is called as analysis phase. The second phase is called as system design phase. Third phase is called as object design. Fourth one is implementation. Now we are going to discuss one by one the four important phases of OMT model. The first phase is analysis phase. Analysis is the first phase of object modeling technique methodology. The main aim of analysis phase is to build a model of real world situation to show its important properties and domain. This phase is concerned with preparation of precise and correct modeling of the real world. The, anal the analysis phase start with the defining the problem statement which include the set of goals. Okay, students, you understand very clearly what you mean by analysis phase. During the analysis phase, we are defining the problem statement which include the set of goals. The next important phase is system design phase. The system design phase comes after the analysis phase. The system design phase determines overall system architecture using subsystem and concurrent tasks. During the system design, high level structure of system is designed. This is very important. During the system design, high level structure of the system is designed. The third one is object design. The object design phase comes after the system design phase is over. Here, the implementation plan is developed. Object design is concerned with fully classifying the existing and remaining classes, association, attributes and operation necessary for implementing a solution to the problem. Okay, the fourth one is implementation phase. The implementation phase of the OMT is the matter of translating your design into programming language construct. It is important to have the good software engineering practice so that the design phase is smoothly translated into the implementation phase. Okay, so OMT model consists of four phases. During the analysis phase, problem statement is clearly defined. During the system design, the basic architecture of the system is designed. During the object design, the implementation plan is developed. Implementation, your design is converted into the uh, programming language construct. Okay, these are the four important phases of OMT model. Actually, the OMT model comes with the three different models. Object model, dynamic model and functional model. Now we discuss one by one. What do you mean by object model? See, the object model is nothing but the object diagram. Okay, it shows the relationship between the objects. How the objects are represented? The objects are represented by the object notation. It consists of name of the object. It consists of attributes, it consists of responsibilities or member function. Association line represents the relationship between the object. Okay, we will see this is the example of object modeling, uh, object model of bank system. The boxes are represent the classes. The filled triangle represent the specialization. Association between the account and transaction is one to many. 
Since one account can have many transactions, the filter circle represents zero or more. The relationship between the client and account classes is one to one. A client can have only one account. Account can belong to only one person. Okay. See, this is the object model. Object model shows only the object relationship. The second model supported by Rambo OMT model is dynamic model. The dynamic model represents the set of states. Okay. See, in, see in this diagram, this is the example of dynamic model. The interconnected lines represent the transition between the states. The system performs some activity when it is in state. One or more event may occur in the state. Next state depends on the current state of the event. This is the third model supported by OMT model, functional model. See, the functional model basically represents the flow of data between various functional blocks of the system. See, object model show the relationship between the object, right? Next state, dynamic model, dynamic state model. Dynamic model represent the set of states. The functional model represent the flow of data between various functional blocks of the system. A functional model may be external device or process or data store. Functional models are connected by the labeled line. See in this example, see the scanner is the external device. Okay, process barcode is the process. Code wise is nothing but data store. Okay, see in, the, in this diagram, the flow of data between various functional blocks are shown. The external devices are represented by the rectangle box. Scanner is the external device. Digital camera is the external device. Pin reader is the external device. The process is represented by the oval shape. Process barcode, process image, process pin, process transaction. Okay, the data store is represented inside the parallel line. Code wise is the data store, image wise data store, pin wise data store, account wise data store. The labeled arrow represents the direction of flow of data. See, actually, the object modeling technique consists of three models. Object model show the relationship between object, dynamic model show the setup state. Functional model show the flow of data. Okay. Thank you students. We will discuss next topic in next class.